corn crop is getting tall and it's getting kind of late now for side dress or late season fertilizer applications for many growing areas. If you still have time on your farm or if you're thinking about a later season fertility application for next year, there's one big consideration you should have regardless of the crop you're raising. I'll discuss it in today's Iron Talk. If my grandparents or even my parents had access to the equipment we can use on the farm today, chances are they would have done a lot of things differently. Case in point, there is some great equipment available for late application of fertilizer in crops. Also, satellite imagery and plant tissue testing are getting more widely used all the time, so the awareness is growing of what nutrients our crop needs and what they may be short in. However, just because a crop is short in something and you can actually apply that nutrient to the field doesn't mean it will necessarily get into that plant in time to save your yield this year. One great example lies with potassium fertilization. On Ag PhD Radio, we get nutrient questions just about every single day. A farmer in North Carolina sent an email because he was short in potassium and wanted to apply it around the time his plants were flowering in his soybean crop. So he'd have potassium that could fill the pods and improve his yields. There are two problems with making that happen on his farm. He has heavy soils and no irrigation. The chance of his potassium getting into this year's crop through the roots is pretty slim. Nutrients like nitrogen move in the soil well, and nitrogen's been used in late season applications for a long time. Nutrients like potassium move very little. So rather than broadcasting a dry product like he intended to do, his best shot to actually get some K into the plants would be foliar feeding with something like SureK. Again, if you want to push additional nutrition into your crops later in the season, there are some great ways to get fertilizer out there that the last generation of farmers never had access to. Just check with a knowledgeable agronomist about which types of fertilizer could actually help your crop this year. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now back to the show.